This video is all about our review on our car and our caravan. We will be keeping the ute. So I thought I kept him happy <laughs> with getting a kayak. I want a boat. <laughs> Would we recommend buying a Franklin? <laughs> Nearly, because ours is high. Ours is higher than most off-road vans now. So have we got I, another spare? No, we don't. I was just about to say Ooh, I recommend we carrying get another a spare. spare. <laughs>
And they some of them were Freddy. I reckon two of them were Freddy. The little window latches are the, latches, the arms have all been. But the arms were a bit. Yeah, crap. I think corrugations again as well. They're yeah. the Moby cool ones. They're meant to be really good, but yeah. So I haven't bought any more of the arms because they're like a hundred and twenty dollars for a pair. <laughs> Yet. So um, we'll just buy them if we sell the caravan. <laughs> if we sell the caravan, I'll obviously fix it all up. <laughs> we've um, got we've got two windows now that only have the one side one with the arm, side. so the other side's just yeah. empty. But, and that's fine. Yeah, so we'll have to fix them as well. <laughs> uh, awning latches. This one's these one broke straight away. So where the awning goes back at the top there and clips into the top, they got like a little latch. It's an Aussie travel awning with a spring. I think the first one fell out oh the first month. Um, and the second one we lost probably six months later. So we're running with none of these latches for oh, most of the time. A like, long time. Because we're over the West Coast, it was something stupid like $60 to post these little things over, which was... They were like 10 grams each or something Yeah, stupid. it was like $15 to buy or and then $60 to ship. And I was like, nah. But I was actually in, um, when we were at Exmouth, at the caravan shop there, which... The best oh, had, yeah. caravan and camping store. It's small, store. but has everything. Everything. Had these latches. Um, we bought like fridge shelves. Yeah, that's one thing I didn't add on our broken list was our yeah. sorry it was our fridge shelves as well. We broke them. Add it in. Yeah. That's we did put water bottles uh, in, in the, the door. In the door. And then and the top the, shelf yeah. in the fridge in the fridge as well had broken. But that was because I'd put like heavy jars yeah, of garlic and, and, we and stuff in there. did corrugations. So that's so another thing that broke. If you can, when traveling, don't travel with water in the door or heavy stuff in the fridge Yeah, I'd shelves. suggest taking the stuff out of your doors. Yeah, put light things on there yeah. if you have to put something on there. But, yeah, we made that mistake. So um, I, had, I had cracked shelves for a Yeah, a and we found time. them at that caravan shop too. So Exmouth yeah. Caravan Shop, yeah, awesome. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, what's the next thing? All right, our bathroom tap is in the big one. It came loose, but why it sucked was the way they've done it, you need like a full extension deep socket, which I don't carry on me to get up in there. Um, so that was loose for quite a while. Yeah. Um, when we got the caravan service, they fixed that up, which is good, but that was another thing that broke. Um, recently, we just had our front door, um, whole handle broke on us, um, which that comes down, I think, Freddie swinging off it. Um, and I've heard they're not, you know, they, they're not the strongest things anyway, but yeah, it was easy to replace. Um, but yeah, I think that was from Easy, Freddy. After, but, after a few uh, YouTube videos. Yeah, it was just for the barrel. I couldn't get the barrel out of the bloody thing. But Thank I got God on for the YouTube videos yeah. and tutorials. And um, yeah. yeah, we fix a lot with um, videos. Um, what else we've got here? Uh, I had one of the blinds. But like inside the blind, um, where, where the retracts. retractable blind, there's a little plastic bit and it um, actually broke. So the blind popped out and just retracted itself and um, uh, unretracted itself, sorry. Yeah. So I just had to go in there and do a bit of a mod to try and get it going again, and it kind of worked. I actually used That's a because, bread clip. So yeah, you did, yeah, and you screwed that on instead. Yeah, yeah. I but, don't know why they use plastic in some of these Oh, a lot of stuff things. shouldn't be plastic, yeah. But then again, Mr. Heavy-Handed over here. That wasn't me. We're blaming <laughs> Freddie again. He's a baby. <laughs> you literally went like that with the blind to it, try and no, open I it. I tried to let open it and it spun off. Away. And it broke, so yeah, that was another one. <laughs> it was Freddy. Um, and the last thing we got on the list here, we've just had obviously because of the draw places we go. Um, there's three screws on the oven, uh, on the stove. Sorry, we don't have an oven. Um, and there's I think there's three in the microwave. Out of the whole van, those are the only six screws that keep coming Always loose. Always come off. Um, yeah. I lock tighted the microwave ones, but that lasted a while. But now they've come off. But the stove ones. I think the way they've drilled it and put it in, they've actually missed the, st the bench top. So it's going like under, screwing under and just kind of grabbing. So um, it doesn't really do anything. So when yeah. we go on corrugations, we open up the, um, you open up the stove and, and they're, they're just out. And, and we find <laughs> if those screws come out all the way, um, oh, our gas. little, no, it's, not, it's the little igniter. Yes. Doesn't work. So you pretty much got to screw them back in, give it a bit of a tap and then the igniter Bit of a love again. tap. Yeah. And then, um, and it seems to work again. It's so annoying. Yeah, out of the whole caravan. Yes, but six, Those two spots. six screws out of the whole van it's, is pretty good, I especially where we good. take the caravan. Oh, yeah, we've been a lot of corrugations. <laughs> so that is all that has gone wrong in 12 that, months. That is all. It's quite That's, a big list. Not really. Oh, there's nothing there's huge nothing on major there, major, which is great. It's yeah. only just like little I'd say the only thing bits. would be the water pump, but luckily we had a spare with us. Yeah. Um, Have I, we got another spare? No, we don't. I was just about to say Ooh, I recommend carrying get another a spare, spare. <laughs> which I don't, haven't done. Yeah, but for 12 months, I think that's pretty good, considering the corrugations we've done. Um, and the campsites we've been to, yeah. which, you know. And hopefully we, we don't have anything else to add to this list after the gig. Well, we do, we do, I wouldn't say baby it, but we do 
I do take it, it easier when yeah. we're, especially off road. Yeah. Like we're in no hurry off road. I don't see the point of hurrying anyway. No. I went on a timeline. So no. what's the point of hurrying and breaking more stuff? No. Yeah. So. That's like when we did the gib. Oh, not the gib. Sorry, the cape. <laughs> Yeah, but then you have these idiots that go uh, right past you. Past. And we actually saw someone once fly right past us and then they hit a ditch. They hit a wa- washout. And, and I oh think my God. They might have only been in a hybrid, but I'm pretty sure it got air. Like, <laughs> the, like it's just like you don't need to. It's just, it's yeah. ridiculous. They're the people that break stuff. I mean, we don't go like st- stupid slow, but we just go slow enough where. Slow enough when you need to. Yeah, when yeah. you need to. So, yeah. Like, we're not doing 10 k's an hour on all these dirt <laughs> roads. Do, 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 no. Do, 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 but no. when we need to slow down, we do. Absolutely. We just make sure our we look, up, we look after this thing. This is our home. Yeah. And, um, and you can tell we've looked after it in 12 months, even though we've taken it to some crazy places. And, yes. Yeah. You know, nothing stops but us from going anywhere. You can't travel Australia and not see crazy places. Yeah. So. I'm not staying in a caravan park all the time. Yeah. No. <laughs> That's not for me. Yeah. All right. Uh, so our next thing I'm going to talk about is the upgrades we've done to the van since we've since, since we left, I guess. Um, so what we've done, we've um, upgraded our batteries. We've now have we've got 200 amps of lithium now. That's helped heaps. Um, we had we did have two AGMs before, which weren't bad, but I can definitely we can. I think if we still had the AGMs, we'd be a lot lower on some days. Because oh, yeah, you can't, yeah, you only use half your capacity, and like I think even this morning, because pretty much from lunchtime we've got no sun here, um, so we woke up at like I don't know forty percent this morning. I think we'd be empty if we had AGM yeah. still. So that and, was our, and Starlink would be a problem. Yeah, Starlink, we've always got that going. <laughs> it's off now, which is good. Um, all right, I'll keep going. This video is going to go for hours. <laughs> All right, uh, 2,000 watt inverter, we put that in just to run coffee machine, microwave, microwave toaster while we're off grid, which is pretty much just for Starlink now and coffee. Uh, microwave <laughs> was more for when Freddie was a baby because we heated up his bottles and stuff. Yeah. Um, we had to upgrade the system, battery system to be lithium compatible, which was just a couple of things we had to change. And the Odyssey link, um, just stuff so I could make put the app on my phone because I couldn't change the profile to lithium on um, the screen we've got because it's a basic screen so we had to change that um, we've put in a DC to DC charger which also has external solar because um, we run a blanket on the outside if you didn't know this we've, we've underslung our axles um, if you've watched Cape York at the very start we did um, rip our legs off up there and re stabilize the legs on the four, Jardine Ferry. Four weeks into a brand new caravan. Yeah, and the we legs ripped were the gone. legs off and you you were just beside yourself. That was just Yeah, I thought it was I thought it was all over. <laughs> it was came I, thought, over. I thought the whole back end of the van was gonna fall off, but <laughs> it was just the legs. So yeah, we ended up yeah. doing so when we went back to the Gold Coast for our wedding, we underslung the axles and we did a spring upgrade. Um, just got a They've added an extra leaf spring or something, yeah. um, something like that. Made it. I don't know. I've found it. But given the height, I'm, yes, the cape was yeah for the ferry. But even getting in and out of some of the hip camps, like um, you know, oh, on yeah. properties and stuff, some, or the petrol stations some out, out back, are, and yeah, it's are steep. And we've I've seen people scrape. You see on the road. When you yeah. go to these outback servers, you see all the scrape marks on the road, and it's from everyone's low vans. So that saved us even throughout just day to day being on the road, not just the Cape or. Yeah. Yeah. So. And for anyone asking, the towing hasn't changed. Um, it tows beautiful, this van, which is good. Probably because it's, so, it's lighter. But mm. people say, does it, because it's lifted up so high, I think it went up like, oh, I can't even know, 100 and something mil. Um, and the towing hasn't changed at all. So we upgraded our TV to a 32 inch smart TV. Yeah, that, was, <laughs> that was good. That yeah. was a good choice. Yeah. Uh, we upgraded bigger tyres. Um, after we did the axle flip, the tyres on it were, they looked funny because they were just so small. They were so small. Uh, so we got tyres, bigger tyres put on it, uh, all-terrain tyres. Uh, we installed pockets inside the van. Uh, I think we've got five of them. Four. Four of them. Then we came with one big one oh, with okay, the caravan. Yeah. And we, we bought put four, four extra ones. Trip in a van, they're, they're the small Navigator, pockets. They, they? Yeah. yeah, I think Navigator make them for they're them. They're just the small pockets. They fit in iPads, books, um, kids' yeah. school books, everything in really, really well. And they have not budged. I don't know what glue they use on the back, but they're... Yeah, they're very good. They're, yeah. Yeah, they're they don't move. So the Velcro good. is very good too. Um, just for extra storage, that one. Yeah. Uh, we added a jerry holder and a rear bag on the spare wheel on the back. The rear bag, just I keep all the hoses in there, electrical cables... Um, and then it becomes a bin bag when we're off grid. Um, we had a ATM and GTM upgrade on the van. Um, took it up to the most it can go. Um, so 
that's helped heaps because if you watched our weights video, we were overweight at the start. Yeah. Um, so we had to change some things and we got that upgrade done as well, um, which has helped us heaps. DO 35 hitch, yeah, wouldn't have Speaks a different... Speaks for itself. Yeah, right? wouldn't have another hitch, yeah. another upgrade. We got the sway controller put on when we bought the van. Um, that was an upgrade. Yeah, just for safety, peace of mind. It's there. I don't I don't even know if it's ever come on, but I'm sure it, sure it has. I just don't feel it. Um, but I don't think we've ever really swayed. I think I felt it once and we're on a dirt road up at the Cape. Kind of felt like it did something, but you we, always we say, don't You sway. always say with the amount of water as well, it feels different if it's empty, if it's full. Yeah, you know, I definitely prefer it... towing with full tanks. Yeah. I don't know what everyone else prefers, but I feel like the, fan, uh, the van just feels better on the road, full tanks. Yeah. Um, but like I said, it tows awesome. We've never had a drama with... Any swaying or anything like that. Touch wood. Yeah, touch wood. <laughs> Afterwards, we added a 110 litre grey water tank. Um, we did that just so we can visit more national parks. Because um, some places, the ranges can be strict. I was going to say, when we got it done, we were like, we, we got told, you know, you cannot go there if you ha don't have one because you will get checked. We've never got checked. Not we checked. just do We have had friends thing, get checked though at some places. And oh, that's right. They yeah. nearly got in trouble because yeah. he lost a bit of water on the ground. And yes. so, just think, we just got it because. We're trying to do the right thing, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Uh, five Sirocco fans fitted, um, two in our bed and uh, one on each of the bunks. Yes, they're pricey, but oh my gosh, they are probably a better off. Yeah, probably better off not doing it through the caravan shop though, because oh, that's what made it expensive. <laughs> we actually, got the caravan eight days before we left, so we didn't have any time no, to. We yes, we did. No, it was in storage, isn't it? For eight days. Oh, yes. Okay. There, yeah. we go. there you go. That. He doesn't even know what's going on. We just had to get what we needed to yeah. get done from the caravan place. When we actually went in there and got it, bought yeah. the caravan. So, so we didn't get a this, choice. Yeah. Plus, and we didn't use the caravan before we went on any trip, so we didn't we really did not know plan what, what, to use, what we needed or what we didn't need. Yeah. Recently, I added a stone guard to the front. Um, we did that originally because we were going to do the gib, and then we backed out. We weren't going to do the gib. <laughs> So I was like, uh, but we still had it, which is good because these couple of roads it and now we're going to do the gib, so <laughs> going to be good anyway. Uh, and one of the latest mods that I've done to it is the clothesline on the awning. Um, Amazing. Few, yeah, a few of the friends we travel, they've had them for ages. And I was like, oh, I'm going to do it eventually and finally did it when we're in x -Mouth. Yeah, so we have the all smalls, which are great for a couple of towels and whatnot. Yeah. But if you've done a load if of washing... If we don't want to get the clotheslines out. We do yeah, have two clotheslines. We've got two clotheslines if we get to a caravan park and we're there for one or two nights. Get all of our washing done, get it out on the two clotheslines and hopefully it dries within two days. Yeah. But then the clothesline's really good if you are leaving the day of the caravan park. It's good you've for got, towels. Good for, yeah. good for towels, but if you've got one load of washing, you can do quickly before you leave the caravan park. And then, and then at the next spot, you don't have to get any washing lines out. You can just put it on the clothesline, yeah. which I think is amazing. Yeah, I should have done it ages ago. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, just a, I'm just gonna talk about a couple of upgrades our van came with from the factory when we bought it, because we didn't, I don't know, if you've been watching for a little while, we might have said this, but we didn't build the van. Um, this We bought this off the floor. We got floor. very, very lucky. It was in the time where yeah, there was everyone no vans. was saying 12 months for a van, and we were like, well, yeah. I don't want to pay secondhand for the same price. Luckily, well, it's really bad Someone's for them. Someone's finance. Someone's finance went through. Yeah, it didn't fall, didn't they? No. Fell they through. fell through. Didn't come through. Um, and um, they'd up. already made the caravan for them with the upgrades they wanted. Yeah. So it wasn't much. Like they had, it had upgraded upholstery. Um, it had a bike rack on the back. Um, it's got a little awning arm in the middle. That's an upgrade. Mm. Uh, has the I think it's called recessed stovetop. So it's got like the wood that comes over the top. So it's re a bench space. Uh, yeah, all that was put on before we got the van, which yeah. is kind of good because all those things are probably. <laughs> really handy amazing so, great things yeah uh, next thing i want to talk about oh my god it's my turn no nah, is yet. it Nah. we'll go through what we would change oh. if we if, what we would change in this van if <laughs> if we could i'd want to upgrade the battery system um i'm not the biggest fan there's probably people out of the heart i'm not the biggest fan of the bm pro system um just maybe if it came out with the top of the line system from bm pro it'd be good but because ours was a base model one it come with the cheapest setup you could have and I've had to add stuff and it's just I just don't find it that efficient so to speak so you know your Enna Drive or your Red Arc or your Victron something like that would be awesome to have um, obviously more solar on the roof um, we've got 300 on the roof at the moment and obviously more solar would be awesome and with that uh, another probably 200 amps of battery power 400 amps of lithium seems to be the sweet spot for everyone so I'd love to have that then we'd need the more panels on the roof anyway um, with the inverter, so our inverter just goes to a double power point. Um, I'd 
wish that, that went to the whole van. Um, just so, especially with yeah. Freddie, because we've got like an extension lead. It's not, it's not hard to do or anything, but it's Freddie, just another thing yeah, for Freddie, Freddie to Freddie grab. pulls on it. Yeah. And so I wish that all that was wired into the van. That'd just be amazing just to be able to put the plug in and yeah, a plug. Yeah, a plug and, and it just, just works. It works. But I mean, it's not the worst thing ever. No, it's not. We no. could be without the inverter. That's exactly right. <laughs> yeah, uh, a double step. So like I said before, with our axle this flip. This a good one to show. Yeah, we'll show you after this. <laughs> we'll, we'll show you Quinn getting up there. That's even funnier. Even me. Yeah, even Leah. But because we've lifted it, um, it's a bit high. <laughs> so when you're kind of set up and you've got to level your van up on the step side, it even makes it higher. Um, we did have a portable step. We've had two now. Yeah, but Both I think the kids all jump on them and, and do it. On one. The other one was just a cheap one. We're probably going to have to get another one because... Especially here, it's very high. And now Freddie likes climbing in and out. I should just show you. Yeah, have a look. Show him quickly. <laughs> Get up the stairs. Ready? <laughs> it's very high. And then it's the getting down part as well. Yeah. Go on, Quinny. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'd love to have instant hot water. I always see people talking about instant hot water. Mainly because when you go for a shower and it, it's cold at the start, so it's hard not to waste that bit of water because it's so cold. Yeah, I, I Some can't night, do it. yeah. Oh. So Leah lets it run until it's hot. So <laughs> Which is a good like it's not good. six, seven. No, no, no. It's oh. not good. It's a good six or seven seconds. Yeah, I of water you're wasting yeah. just because it's so cold. Which I do. I've done it as well. Now yeah, I just try not... to put it on my legs at least or something. But it's so cold. No. <laughs> um, but yeah, so instant hot water would be good if yes. we could. Uh, and the last thing I've got here is uh, a toolbox on the front with obviously an extended drawbar, just for storage really because. Um, I love the drawer. We've got a drawer in the front of our, our tunnel boot. It's only half tunnel boot because on the other side is the hot water system. So it's not a full tunnel boot. Um, so for storage wise, I'd love to have that toolbox on the front just for extra storage pretty much. Mm. We're going to go into three things we love about the caravan. Oh, okay. So now we'll it's let, my we'll turn. We'll let Leah go first. So her <laughs> three things. Okay. So my three things I absolutely love about the caravan, obviously it's nothing battery related or solar related because that's just not my Neither thing. Neither mine actually. Um, <laughs> oh, really? Okay. So mine are the inside colour scheme. So yes, like we just said, we didn't actually get to choose our colour scheme, but I actually really love it. Um, mm. It's neutral. It's not too white and glary. It's also not too dark. For me, I just like the the grey and the whites and it just it's yeah, it actually is pretty good it feels clean it feels um it yeah, wouldn't it wouldn't like, be far off what we would pick anyway absolutely really. um another thing i love is the leather couch mm. oh which is the upgrade that the other previous caravan owners did um but it's just amazing because i know what our kids are like even bloody parker he's nine years old and he drops food and mm. I'm, it's just i'm forever cleaning that yes i'm talking about you mate <laughs> he's looking straight at me for i'm forever cleaning up food like it's just and if it was fabric it'd be horrendous yeah, i reckon so easy to wipe over isn't it oh and the third thing is storage like we've got quite a bit of storage in our van for being a light van um we've got mm. under the bed under the chair two cupboards out the back we've got a big bathroom cupboard we've got one at the top as well we've got there's cupboards everywhere there's cupboards yeah. absolutely everywhere so which is great because you do not want to have things out and about in a caravan. You want to have it hidden and hmm. not seen. Three things I love now. Um, I love that we've done the underslung axle for our clearance. Yeah. I think that's been awesome. Um, just, we even had somewhere on the way to Point Billy the other day, it was a steep incline. And even the other family with us, they had underslung. And even they said that our back was very close. It was only dirt, but still. So stuff imagine like if that. we didn't get it done. Yeah, yeah. I just it's more peace of mind because I had the legs rip off. Now for peace of mind, I know that <laughs> nearly, because ours is high, ours is higher than most off-road vans now, so yeah, uh, I love that. Um, I do love the pull-out drawer on the front um, for the tunnel boot. It comes with a drawer, so I don't have to, because it's only halfway, I don't have to dig all the way through. I can't go from both sides, um, mm. so I love that there's a drawer in there that can just pull out and I can reach everything. Uh, and my last one is actually how the van tows. It just, it's so easy to tow this van. Um, even so, I've done it. Yeah, yeah there you go. Uh, but on the road, it's just, yeah, it's it's beautiful. You know, go past semi-trailer trucks, it doesn't move. So I love how it tows. Yeah. Saying that, it's the first caravan I've ever towed. But <laughs> so the last thing on the van we're going to say is, would we recommend buying a Franklin? What do you reckon? Yeah. So definitely if would. you've If you've got weight limitations with your car like we have, definitely look it at Franklin. is the perfect caravan. Yeah. So, so that, see, we have had, like we said, We've only had small things go wrong, but we take it to crazy places, corrugated yeah. roads. The build quality is, is great. very good, yes. I must say. Um, yeah. Like we haven't I said, had cupboards what, falling six off screws or... have come loose. 
And that's still in Cape York, on the data track. <laughs> yeah. So many corrugated roads getting to campgrounds. Yeah. And, um, and yeah, six screws, I reckon that's bloody pretty Great. good. <laughs> yeah. Great. Yeah. Um, they're made by Concept. Concept Caravan make Franklin. So, yeah, hats off to them. They've done a very good job, I'd say. And, yeah. you know, even though it's on the Franklin page, everyone seems to have no dramas with them. So, 100% would there recommend getting a Franklin. If you, if you, especially if you're weight limited, because like we were... Um, and you're after a light van. Yeah. If you're after a light van, definitely look at the Franklin range. Um, yeah. All right, so we'll just add on to the end here. Um, I don't know if you've watched the other videos, but we are stopping for a bit, and then we're going to go again. So question is, are we going to keep this van for our next lap? Um, we don't know. We don't know. We're, we're going to see how we go. But if we but, can sell this one and buy another one in that time frame. Yeah, from the time period when we want to leave, then, then we, we probably, we'll probably would. Do it. So it will, probably will go up for sale. Um, probably not for another six to seven or eight yeah. months yet. But but saying that, if nothing comes up for sale and we have to keep this, we are very happy to keep this yeah, and do, yeah, and it's, do it's another good. lap in it. Yeah. We're not, we just wanted something a bit more off road to give us a bit more peace of mind because we do take it to some places. Yeah, so. we probably take it to places other people won't go yeah. with their vans. So, but look, yeah, like I said, if we if nothing comes up and we don't sell it and buy another one in that time oh, frame we'll, of working, we'll be taking it around we again. will happily take yes. it around again. So That's what's happening with the van. But. All right, yeah. let's go to the car. Let's, right, let's review quick, the car quickly. We'll quickly talk about the car. There's not as much this stuff. This video's gone on for too long already. Yeah, it's already 30 <laughs> minutes. All right, the car. It's Leah says a 2021 Nissan Navara. Um, I'll go straight into the upgrades that we've done. So it's got bull bar, roof rack. It's got an awning on there. Uh, it's got a hard lid. Uh, I've done air. It's got a two inch lift kit in it. Uh, it's a long travel lift kit, which is awesome for off roading. Uh, it's got airbags in the rear. Um, upgraded intercooler, uh, it's got a tune, uh, full 12 volt system, red arc system, mud tires on it, bigger mud tires, UHF and an aerial. That's pretty much the mods that are done to the to the ute. Um, if you've seen from the start, we did have a canopy on there. Once again, got way too yeah. heavy. So we had to get rid of the canopy for the hard lid. Well, it was the canopy or the fridge, was it? Yeah, it was the canopy or the fridge. I'm not getting rid, not of, the getting rid of the beer fridge. No way. That's just rude. Yeah. <laughs> no way. Mod's broken on the ute in the last 12 months. Uh, recently, the hard lid, uh, the hinges on it snapped. All four of them that are on there have snapped. Now, that really annoyed me. Um, but I did buy cheap. The, you know, I think it was like 12 or 1500 bucks. The good ones are about three grand. So they say it all the time. <laughs> Poor man pays twice. And I've just put some bloody Mitre 10 hinges on it for now. And yeah, they seem to be working. Uh, we had one airbag leaked, um, which got fixed for us. That's not a biggie, but um, it did suck because I couldn't tow with the airbags up for, I think it was like one trip or something, which that's not too bad. Uh, all right, and recently I just we just had, so the Navaras have a problem with their boost solenoids. They're on the front of the motor and they can get clogged up with dirt, dust, all that stuff when you go for driving. Um, so I cleaned out the little filters and it seems to be good now, but I am going to get them replaced before we start the gib just in case something happens um but yeah that's the three things that's all that's gone wrong with the ute airbags hard lid broke and the Again, boost solenoid yeah but really that's <laughs> it's all the boost solenoids that's the ute but the other two things aren't even really yeah it's just accessories we've added so it's done really well considering what we put it through it's like the van like yeah. it is a four-wheel drive um and it's you know it's really good off-road um i can't say how good it is off-road like we did cape york high country i don't have a winch didn't get stuck flexes <laughs> like crazy because of the long travel kit yeah. um so yeah it's been awesome what would i change on the ute um if i could um i'd put a tray a alloy train canopy on it a light setup mm. um i found setups out there that are like 150 kilos lighter than what the tub is Jeez, that's tray and that's canopy crazy, isn't it? yeah so that's wow. that's a lot of weight too when you people know about ways for caravanning yeah. um the more weight you can save the better. the better um tow mirrors i'd get proper um clear view tow mirrors for it because the other ones you know they're good but they rattle and they have actually cracked the top of the casing it's not the actual mirror it's like the casing Outside casing of yeah the of the actual yeah. it's just plastic it's cracked that a bit from being um tightened down obviously so i'd get proper tow mirrors um Another small one, decent seat covers. I'd no. get them. We we had no. I had cheap King's one when we left. Got rid of them. 
bought ones that actually fit a Navara just from a auto shop, but they don't even, they don't even stay on. They're Velcro. They're, yeah, they're not that good. Um, so I'd get <laughs> decent ones from you know ARB or somewhere like that. Um, another thing with the car I'd change it, that's in there is just change the front um, spring suspension. Um, so I had my lift, I did the lift before we even were going to go traveling. So I actually bought it second hand. So the spring rate in the front is just, it's a bit stiff and heavy. So I'd like it a bit lighter. But other than that, that's that's all I'd change in the Ute really. Um, the big one there would be yeah, the tray, just saving weight. Uh, that brings us to our you know final questions on the Ute really. Not Happy much to say here, Leah. <laughs> Just this like, is all mean me. <laughs> I'm just here for show, guys. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. <laughs> um, has it? These are just general questions I found other people like to know, so thought I'd add them in there. Has it been a good tow vehicle? Uh, 100%. Um, yeah. For what we tow, definitely. Perfect. Yeah. With the tune, I'd say this would be the most um, I'd want to tow with it. Yeah. So for a lighter van, 100%. Um, perfect tow vehicle. Um, has it been a good four-wheel drive? Yes, awesome. It's really good off-road. Um, I've owned... Um, Y61 patrols, which are just ridiculous off road, and I was very surprised at how good this thing is off road. Yeah. Um, the auto is just yeah, auto is awesome as well. Uh, would I recommend buying one? 100%. Um, like I said, not for a heavier van, I wouldn't. Um, Legal. Under that three ton mark was yeah, maximum depends how many kids you, I suppose, and what gear you take, but maximum yeah. three ton. I wouldn't try pushing any more than that. It is only a small motor at the end of the day. Um, they're a 2.3 litre twin turbo, but yeah, I'd recommend mine one for sure. Um, fuel consumption, um, we're averaging about 16 litres per 100, or just over. With towing. Um, that's towing, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't even know what it is not towing. <laughs> we don't, we don't yeah. not tow with it, really. you you, you got to reset it usually. <laughs> when you take the van off, you can reset it to see it, but I've, I don't ever touch it. I just leave it on because we're towing most of the time. But I think that's pretty good. 16 litres per 100 is pretty yeah. is really good. I think the worst we've seen, I can't remember, I think it was down up and down the hills it might have been in nt i think it got up to 18 or nearly 19 or 18 i think it was and that's still pretty good last question all right so last question i've got here is like the van we will be keeping the ute and i'm gonna say we probably won't be no only that's, because we're at the the limits of everything really. our weight yeah it's our weights are right on and i want a boat <laughs> So, I thought I kept him happy with getting a kayak, <laughs> yeah. and apparently, not so. Well, we've got friends that have got boats, and he can. He's just seen, obviously. It just, it's just easier. It's, now we've know, done the. A you lap. just have to row back. Yeah. Now we've done a lap without a boat. Um, yeah, I want a boat now, and to have a boat for our weights, we need we to change need a vehicles. Car. Yeah. Um, yeah, and we're right on our limits, and. Even with the van, so and then that comes back to the swap it changing the van. So, because we're changing the car, um, which we'll probably do first, I'd say we'll change the car. Then we know what weights we. Then get we'll the work car. at our weights because we don't want to. Even if we get an off more of an off road van, we're still. I don't want a thirty five hundred. Well, we don't know. No, we, you don't need it for one. No. Um, and two, it's just too heavy. I don't want to be maxed out on that as well. Even though we'll have everything, I don't want to max it out again. No. Um, so we're still up in the air. What vehicle? we want to get um it will be second hand he literally whenever he can i mean whenever oh. we've got internet he just researches yeah, and looks at cars you and gotta do shops. your research yeah. like you guys you buy new cars new things and it's, the day after you're, you're looking at the next new one i've bought a new car in ages yeah but you it's look at like them all the time months, no. <laughs> you buy one and then you go you gotta, oh let's what's the next one it's like oh research, my eh? gosh but yeah so it can't just be him for sure there's other guys out there well, constantly looking at something new it's just what we need to travel. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all about the upgrade, isn't it? Oh, um, God. So, yeah. So, for anyone watching, though, um, I've got a little list. It's kind of a big list, actually. So, vehicle-wise, um, be good to get some help in the comments. Um, we're going to go secondhand. So, it's going to have a high, bit higher kilometres. Um, I'm, I'm not looking to spend a fortune. Um, so, secondhand-wise, you got 200 series Land Cruiser, Diesel or petrol, 70 series, 79 or 76, Y62 Patrol, obviously, that's going to be the more expensive one because they're lower Ks, um, and 100 series Land Cruiser. So they're, they're pretty much the options uh, at the moment um, that I'm looking at. But yeah, it'll just come down to what's available at the time. At the time yeah. And so anyone in the comments Has owns any, those vehicles yeah. can, you know, tell Give me. Give us a bit more advice tell on Tell me, it. yeah, tell me your 
fuel consumption. Tell me, you know, towing wise, are you happy with it? Do you recommend um, it? I, I know straight away that the fuel consumption is going to be higher with all these vehicles than what we are now, but be good to know what we, they yeah, are. Yeah, good to know what they are, but yeah. So yeah, Give let us, us know about advice. those vehicles, guys, because <laughs> um, yeah, we will be changing vehicles. So yeah, that, that's exciting. Scary, I, don't, I don't really care. Yeah, she, she won't even come in the boat, so she don't care. <laughs> but yeah, will be a boat. There will be a boat. Watch this space. Uh, anyway, so to round it all off, would we recommend our 2021 Nissan Navara? Oh, 100 percent. Absolutely. Yes. And would, would we for recommend, our setup? Yeah. So both absolutely. these things for what we're doing right now, 100 percent. Yeah, and our caravan, we'd 100 like, percent recommend. If it. you're watching this and you haven't bought a van or whatever. And you're saying, oh, you need, people say, no, you need an off-road van. You do not need off-road. You don't need an no, off-road just, van. Just drive it to the conditions. Yeah, and, that's, that's just our know. advice. Don't don't go buy an on-road van and go flogging over <laughs> Cape York or come on the, the Gib because, you know, it might go you all wrong know, for you. You never know, but just, you don't, it's not going to limit you. Yes. You, you know, you can literally take it. We have not, we've not looked at somewhere and go, oh, we can't do that. We just do it and we take it, you know, we yeah, drive it slow. slow. We don't go four wheel driving. They're no. just dirt roads, but they are corrugated. Yeah. Sand, some of the sand roads are a little bit four wheel driving, mm. but yeah, don't think you need the, the best of the best. Like yeah. we've said it before, yeah. you do not need the best of the best to see some of these amazing spots no. in Australia. And we've shown that. So yeah. roll the rocker suspension. Don't even yeah. have independent and we're still going everywhere. So yeah. that proves. But then once again, it comes down to build quality. But yeah, that's this it. has been awesome, both in the car and the van. Yeah, might sound funny because we're saying they're awesome, but we're getting rid of them. But it's just the it's the weights. It's everyone all knows about weights. Yeah, hundred um, <laughs> percent. We would own these two vehicles again if it suited us. Yeah, absolutely. So family's getting bigger. Yeah. Not another baby, I just mean. Kids are getting bigger. They might have sounded like it, but there's no baby. <laughs> I was like, what do you know that I don't know? Oh, well, then we can get a truck. <laughs> Oh my god, the truck yeah. talks. She doesn't oh like my trucks. Gosh. I want a truck. All right, let's wrap this up. <laughs> okay. So anyway, that's our twelve month review. We love, on we love the vehicles. caravan. We love the car. Yeah. It's been amazing. Sorry, um, but watch we, this space. Sorry, we dragged on. Yeah, we. It's, this is all you. Oh, sorry, I dragged on. Anyway, watch this space. We don't know what's happening with uh, the car and caravan yet, but um, you never know. But um, anyway. If anyone wants to buy a package deal, hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, all right, guys. guys. Um, see you next watching, week. Guys. Make sure you like, subscribe. Make sure you comment as well with the cars that we've asked yeah, yeah. for. So, um, Please. Yeah. Uh, all right. We'll see you next week. See you guys. Bye.